Hi, my name is Chris Herndon. I'm one of the speakers here at this year's Pain Care for Primary Care in Orlando, Florida, and I'm also a professor of pharmacy at Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville. I'm here to talk to you today about the three big adverse effects associated with opioids and what we can do as clinicians to anticipate and treat these big three. The first adverse effect I'd like to talk to you about today is constipation. While that's probably the one that we think about the most in terms of chronic opioid therapy, it's probably also the most troublesome for patients that are in pain. There are a number of different treatment options that are available for patients with opioid-induced constipation. Likely the first line therapy would be polyethylene glycol or Miralax. Second, we typically will recommend, at least in our practice, senicides combined with or not docusate, which is a stool softener. We typically, if that is ineffective, will go to medications known as the chloride channel modulators, and the examples of this may include lubiprostone. For patients who still are unable to uh, effectively evacuate their bowels or have pain associated with that, there are the peripherally acting mu opioid receptor antagonists. These include medications like methylnaltrexone and naloxagol. There are some unusual reports of, of patients who are even still refractory to some of these therapies that can get some benefit from medications such as misoprostol or even orally administered um, petrolatum, uh, white petrolatum. The second big adverse effect I'd like to talk to you about today is nausea and vomiting. Most of the time we see opioid-induced nausea and vomiting post-operatively. Some of the treatments that we can use for opioid-induced nausea and vomiting do include the serotonin antagonist, such as ondansetron, and we can also use some of the other uh, anti nauseant medications as well. Ondansetron tends to be the most commonly used. The third and probably the most murky of the adverse effects associated with opioids is pruritus. What we originally thought to be the pathophysiology behind opioid-induced pruritus was that it, mast cell destabilization due to opioid administration caused this widespread pruritus or itching in these patients. However, what we started to see is, is that opioid antagonist can actually reverse the effects of opioid-induced pruritus only when centrally acting opioid antagonists are administered, such as naloxone, naltrexone, or even uh, nalbufene, which is a mu opioid antagonist, kappa agonist. Some other treatment strategies that you might be able to use include the uh, first and second generation antihistamines. We also have uh, some data to support the use of ondansetron, again, for the pruritus. We also have some data to suggest that low-dose propofol as well as gabapentin can be effective treatments.